Hi everyone, a really quick video around Azure documentation sparked by a conversation I had this week with a network engineer and a customer who was just dipping his toes into cloud networking and Azure networking. Even though this may seem like basic stuff to people that have worked in Azure for a long time, actually, in my experience, there's quite a lot of people that don't realize you can work with Azure documentation in this way. Uh, especially in networking circles and people that perhaps don't spend all of their time working with Azure. The short story here is all of Azure documentation is open sourced and hosted on GitHub in one of the largest projects on GitHub in the world. And what that means is you can contribute to the documentation, you can propose edits to the documentation and you can also inspect the documentation. So I'm going to go through five tips here, which will help you understand how you can do those things. So let's start off with, I'll leave a link in the, the chat uh, comments below to the official guide for how you might contribute in a more formal process to the Microsoft documentation. This covers effectively what I talked about in the opening, how you can propose changes, etc., etc. But let's make this more real. Let's dive into an example networking documentation here, the coexistence one for ExpressRoute, pretty popular doc. So what can we do here? Well, the first thing to notice is you can see when the documentation was last updated. And that is obviously important because the cloud changes and the, the feature set and nuances change over time. It's a moving target and as is your own cloud network design. But if you're reading this document and perhaps you disagree or based on your experience, you can think of a way of wording it better, or you think there's something missing from the documentation. The main takeaway from this video is that you can make that happen pretty quickly. So if you click on the little pencil icon here, that will take you straight to GitHub and assuming you're logged into GitHub and you have an account, etc., you can then propose the appropriate edit. So again, click on the pencil icon, find the point in the documentation, which you either agree or disagree with, or think you can enhance you can make the change. So for example, if I thought maybe where it said the gateway subnet here, that should perhaps say gateway subnet like this to better reflect the portal experience, I could make that change. And I could go down here to the bottom and click propose changes. And this workflow has effectively simplified the process of submitting a pull request or PR uh, to make it easy to consume. So that, that's number one. Number two is for a particular document, you may be interested in the history, how that's changed over a period of time. So let's take a look at this document here, which is around migrating to Azure Virtual WAN from a regular customer hub spoke environment. So again, click on the pencil icon, click on the history, and you can see this is a, a document that's gone through quite a lot of changes over time. Uh, you can see that in the past, I've made a couple of additions to this. You can see my GitHub user ID here. If we click on the commit, you can see exactly what I changed. So I, I made some formatting changes. I changed some of the terminology in the document to make it clearer. In a similar way, what you can also do is if you are interested in a specific point in the document, then you can dig into when that specific line was changed. Okay, here I am on the PowerShell version of the coexistence doc. If I click on, again, the edit button will take me to GitHub. Then if I click on blame here, and let's say I'm interested in when we made an addition around the stipulation to set the Azure VPN gateway to AS65515. I can see over here, there's a, a comment about a users talked about this sentence being confusing. Okay, that's not related to 65515. I want to go back a bit further in time. So click on this icon here to, to view the blame prior to that change. Again, find the same line. Click on this button here to see the actual commit. And you can see that you know, at this point in time, in March of last year, a change was made. The red bit was removed. The green bit was added. We changed it to reflect the accurate behavior that it's not the VPN gateway changing its AS number. It's the fact that you, you as the customer needs to set it to a specific autonomous system. A third one, still related to GitHub, but not specifically related to Azure documentation. And that is, if you want to stay on the kind of the, the cutting edge of what's happening in networking, then 
it's prudent to follow interesting people. So here's an example of Daniel, who works in our team in the in the US. He spends all of his time with Azure Networking and creates all of these awesome articles. So if you were to follow him on GitHub, as I do, then you can see what Daniel's doing in the, the public space in terms of his own repositories and white papers. So for example, I might go into here, or oh, he's made a, a, a modification here quite recently around this repository for VPNs and NAT 12 days ago. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, there's a really cool white paper here with an automated lab on, on NAT for VPN gateways. So that's the third one is, you know, find interesting people, follow them. And that's a really good way of staying current and finding interesting things. One last thing I'd like to call out, and that is, let's say you're working with a particular piece of Azure documentation, you're working with a product, Express Route in this example, yeah, you, you want to sort of perhaps get some feedback into the Microsoft product team, or perhaps find out what the community is also asking about the product. That's where I'd like to highlight right down the bottom here, you've got a feedback section. Click on the link for this product, and that will take you to feedback.azure.com, which has recently returned. It was offline for a period of time, but it's come back and all of the old data is retained with the upvotes and the comments. And this is where you can check, well, what are other customers thinking? For example, here we see a lot of people would like the idea of route summarization on Express Route, and you might agree with that. You might want to make a comment and you might want to sort of upvote that because this, this will feed directly into the what the product teams are, are planning for their cycles of, of engineering effort. Okay, I hope you found that useful. 